Hey everyone, welcome back to Artery Gear Fusion. So we have here the Artery Gear Best 4 star and 3 stars of the game as early as now. I'm going to put a link of this file in the description so that you could quick reference this anytime you want. Okay, so let's start off with the most obvious which is Alice. So Alice has been everyone's wish list uh, since the game started for global uh, even for the other servers um before so she is pvp ss pve ss as well notable skills are extra turn plus attack buff for one ally slow for for two rounds for all enemies and uh, other notes she's really an extra turn wizard Second on our list for, uh, actually she's the most notable for the 4 star, is going to be Morris. Morris is PvP SS, PvE S. Notable skills are cleanse and health restore uh, for all, blind for 2 rounds for 1 enemy. Best healer with no downtime, healing with S2 and her S3. So they are the top 2 for the 4 stars and here are the rest. Uh, Ruri here is um, PvP S PvE S. Notable is going to be a block buff for one. Okay, one enemy that is critical strike for two targets and extra turn critical 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 strike two targets extra turn plus attack buff as well. So cleave with extra turn and s2 ignores elemental damage so you have to take note she's good in pvp guys so you can build her as early as now um if you don't you know if you have her in your roster next is going to be chihaya we actually got her in the free event or she's available now so please please get her free event for the first event uh, with all copies free as well so she is pvp a PVES target debuffs are extended by one round and cooldown reduction of all skills are reduced by one round one crit strike is triggered so this is for her S2 defense down for two rounds extra turn when crit strike is triggered this is for her S3 really a a very good um a very good free unit uh, to start off for global she is used very much in centaur teams um and you won't go wrong with her if you build her up so next is going to be verbana so she's pvpa pv pve a as well notable skills are 50 percent chance of defense down for two rounds this is for your enemies and multiple aoe damage she can also she can actually be a good cleave alternative Moving on is Korax, so I, I'm sure some of you have gotten her. So PvP, she's a B, uh, PvE, she's an A. Speed buff for two turns, action bar manipulation. Uh, this is actually very useful, especially for PvP. Grants herself stealth and barrier for two rounds. Stealth and speed specialist. So if you want to mani manipulate your turn speed bar then she is your girl next is nemophilia uh, pvp she's a b pve she's an a uh, 30 percent chance to provoke for r one round and all allies receive barriers for three rounds with small health restore defense buff for two rounds and 85 percent chance to cost blind for two rounds and her specialty is a team barrier just in case if you don't want to bring an ag uh, barrier she is going to be your team barrier built into herself Sen send her here is a four star as well pvp uh, b pve is going to be a speed buffs for herself action bar manipulation uh, harpist stage killer so you can build her for the harpist stage free revive and self-sustain next is going to be akasha with the pvpa pveb defense buff and invincible for herself for one round chance for of causing stun and blind she is definitely called a bodyguard because she she is a very good tank for her team you might need her in PvP just for tanky teams. Okay, so moving on is uh, Della or Delia. PvP, she's an S. 
for 4 star. PVE, she is a B. Counter attack is her specialty. Massive damage to all enemy targets. And she is good for anti PvP cleave teams. Okay, next is going to be Micah. Micah is a PvPA, PvE, B. Action bar manipulation as well. Attack buffs for all allies for two rounds. And she is a PvP specialist. Moving on to the last two, we have uh, first it's going to be Rosemary at uh, PvPC. PvEB dispels all buffs of target on target against attack buff and speed buff for two rounds for herself and her, her specialty is a buff remover and the last one for the four star is going to be zero four pvp is b pve is also b uh her notable skills are s3 cleave school the reduction if enemy was killed self attack buff and she is another good alternative for cleave if you need a cleave uh, unit for your team. So below is our um, three stars, which I think most of you guys are most interested in. So for this, for the three stars, um, here are one of the best actually that you would that you can level up in the in the beginning and up to the mid game. You have here first Grace, of course. So if you guys haven't seen my video on Grace, on her farming abilities, I'm going to put a link up there so that you could click on it. She is definitely a monster in farming. Not only in farming, she is actually good also in story mode and PvP in early stages. So please do check that video out so that you could see how she does when she is maxed. By the way, she in PvP, she's an A. PvP, she PV, PvE, she's an S. Critical strike for S1 triggers round cooldown reduction of all skills. And the next is S3 skill set when when target is is killed, and uh, it also gives massive damage. Okay, she is a solo farming wizard, so you need her in the early game. Definitely level her up. She's the best three star in the game as of the moment. Next up is uh, close on her heels. It's going to be Roko. So Roko is PvPC, but she shines so much in PvE because she is an early game boss layer. So another alternative to Centaur as well. You can bring her there and other bosses in the game. Cooldown of all skills and damage increases when target has corrosion. So she, she, she deals corrosion to the enemy. Extends debuff duration and extra turn for herself when target has corrosion. Okay. I'm gonna just correct this one. When target is killed. <laughs> and massive damage. Okay. So that I'm gonna go back to Roko. So Roko again, uh, a very good early game boss slayer. Next up is going to be Kana. PvP, she's going to be a C. PvE, she's going to be an A. Uh, increased cooldown for one enemy target, meaning she's going to delay the, the, the skill of um, the, the, the cooldown for a certain enemy. When evading, get stealth for one round and reduces cooldown of own skills. So she is a your three-star speed manipulator. Greer, on the other hand, is... Um, a PvPC, PvEB, causes corrosion, defense down for two rounds, and a defense buster. Okay, Caroline here is I think one one of the one one of the most interesting in terms of the three star that I'd like to level up. So P, in PvP she is a B, PvE she is a B as well. Critical strike triggers one round reduce cooldown on all skills so she has to have critical strike reduces the cooldown of all skills for three rounds for all allies except her but grants herself an extra turn i'm calling her a time traveler aka dr strange because she does swell in manipulation of cooldown for herself and for her team uh, next up is going to be Winnie. Winnie is PvPC, PvEB. 
Um, she's, I think, one of one of a few who has immunity for all allies for three turns, which makes her great as well. And she has a deep defense buff to allies and barrier to herself. So she's a defense guru and um, very, very reliable uh, in terms of protecting her team. Last two on the three stars we have first is Foxy. Foxy's PvP C, PV, PvE is B, 75% chance of defense down for two rounds and 50% and 50 chance stun for one round. This is for one um, enemy. Grants all allies crit up to two rounds. She is a buffer and deep buffer. And the last one um, the I'm recommending is Kumachi. Um, PvP C, PvE B. Heal over time and heal all and speed debuff for, for two rounds for all as well. She is actually a good Morris alternative if you don't have Morris on your team. So now that you know the alternatives or which of the four star and five four star and three star that you can build, um, you can actually focus on these if you have less of five star and build them up. Um, most of them are good up until the mid game. So from now up until the mid game, you can really use them and maximize them. Whoever you have from this four star and three star best list of artery gear. So that is it, guys. So I'll reference this again in the in the description so that you could have a quick access of this file anytime you need. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do because this really helps me a lot, especially now when we have a lot of artery gear content. Thank you guys. Take care. Stay safe. This is The Warden and I'm out of here.